Hi, Series Reviews here, back with another Antimer Mentions New Game Minus 4 video, episode 14. And it's been, well, a couple days since last episode, and I think I'm just going to try more of the challenges. So, challenges I've not done and not attempted. Actually, I've, I've heard that um, the bug in Challenge 8 has been fixed. So, hopeful, hopefully this is actually fixed. Because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it was really fixed but I've heard it was fixed. Like I reported it and everything. So hopefully this will allow me to get a galaxy. And yeah, there it is. There is the antimatter galaxy. So the bug has been fixed, which means I should be able to beat this challenge. So yeah, just one more time dimension or one more dimension boost. And then we get time dimension shift and boom. Challenge complete, and that also gives me the gift from, God, from gift from the gods, which is complete that challenge in three minutes or less. And the reward of dimensional sacrifice is a lot stronger. Okay, so now comes the new challenges. Um, starting with this one, automated dimensional sacrifice. The uh, the product of amount is um is used instead of the product of bot. I'm not really sure what that means. I, I know it has to do with that multiplier. But it does. It, that seems like oh, I see product of log ten amount. So it's just gonna mildly nerf that multiplier. I think it won't be that big of a deal because I I, I think this is a new game minus minus minus. But yeah, this is this is barely gonna be that big of a deal. I'll look at the auto buyers here. It looks like the dimension boost auto buyer. It's doing every eight seconds. So. Yeah, it's definitely, it's, it's doing it quite a bit. And this challenge is a little bit slower than normal runs, but really when it comes down to it, it's not all that much slower. Like, I, I can still, it's not all that slow, that's what I mean. Like, I'll still be able to um, easily beat this challenge. And boom, one galaxy point, time to go to the next one. This one is Automated Galactic Sacrifice. You can hold up to 10 Dimension Boost, Time Dimension Boost, Tick Speed Boost, and Galaxies. Is that just like a limit to your Dimension Boost and all that? that, that that's, that's what I think. If, if, that, if it's just a limit like that, then this challenge is an absolute joke. Because um, in a normal challenge run, I don't get any more than 4 Dimension Boosts, and 1 Antimatter Galaxy, and one time dimension shift so yeah that's it it looks like my dimension shift did get reset by the time dimension shift whatever one galaxy point super easy challenge now i've automated galactic sacrifice now automated tick speed boost Dim dimension boost and time dimension boost divide tick speed multiplier instead hmm so dimension boost and time dimension boosts have a negative effect yeah i still need to do dimension boost if I want to actually make any progression in the, like if I want to get more into my galaxies. So it's actually a very interesting one. And I'm actually noticing the start of each run is just getting slower and slower each dimension boost. I, I, I need to do one more dimension boost just because it's dividing the multiplier. You'll actually see if I um, get this next dimension boost, I need E11 antimatter. And multiplier starts at only actually it starts at four times, but that's probably with a lot of Tixie upgrades from time dimensions. But here I will be able to get an antimatter galaxy once I get E um, I think 18 antimatter. It's weird how the dimension boosts make us slower. That that's a unique challenge that I don't think has has existed in any of the other mods. So hopefully it will do an Antimatter Galaxy. I'm actually, I better be clicking Antimatter Galaxy. Okay, yeah, boom. Antimatter Galaxy. The first few of these runs will be quick, but then they'll get slower and slower. Um, I think I need three dimension shifts, I think. No, I think I need four. Just, okay, one, one more of them, and then one time dimension shift, and that will get me a galaxy. Or not a galaxy. It'll allow me to beat the challenge, so... Here it is, and now all I need is just some more time dimensions. Four force time dimensions, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. Challenge complete. That one was a little bit... Oh, did it not? This is a bug. Hmm. It's a bug in my favor, but it's a bug. Um, I'm just going to ignore that because that's cheating if I do that. I mean, I guess I did do it one more time than I should, but whatever. I'm just going to ignore that and because I, I'm not a fan of just cheating like that because that's definitely a bug. And this is, and the last challenge here is automated time dimension boost. The tick speed multiplier boost to time dimensions is weaker. So it just makes time dimensions weaker. This one should be an easy challenge, and I think the bug is still in effect. I could probably beat the challenge if the bug was still... I, I could probably just beat the challenge now if I just click that, but, but do I really want to do that? I... I think I just want to, um, you know, beat the challenge on the real way. Also, I have four dimension boosts and one galaxy. Uh, weird. Why is everything not getting reset? Maybe there's actually, I, I maybe there's some achievement reward I'm missing, or it's probably just a bug, honestly. Why is nothing being reset? Maybe if I do this, and then galactic sacrifice. No. Okay, I'm, I'm going to report this because, yeah, this is impossible. Or, not impossible, but it's, this is unintended. I mean, if it was intended, why would it be intended? So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back, like, three weeks later. It's been a very long time since the last time I have recorded any of this. And, um, I don't really remember. I, I do remember there was a bug with the challenges. So, I just exported the save. I think I just redid them like manually or used a console or something. I have no idea. I It might have been something like that. And I think I can just start doing the challenges again, like automated tick speed boosts, which is dimension boost and time dimension boost divide tick speed multiplier instead. I don't even remember. Um, oh yeah, I, I remember this challenge. It was like the one that would get harder with every dimension boost. I, I think I need a galaxy anyway. If I want to beat the challenge. So, yeah, I I remember this one. It's, it's it's interesting how it gets slower with everyone, but it, it yeah, it starts to really, it does feel slow. Just because, you not only you're not getting a boost with every reset, you're getting a nerf with every reset. Which is very unique. And, um, I guess I could just look what the last challenge is. The tick speed multiplier boost to time dimensions is weaker. Okay. Um, I, that, that must mean that, yeah, tick speed must be multiplying the time dimensions. And, yeah. There's not really much else to say here. I, I think I just want the galaxy. I, it's been, it's been a while since I've done this, so I'm gonna have to rack my brain. I think I want a galaxy, and then I want like four dimension boosts and then I want one time dimension boost and that will allow me to beat the challenge and hopefully the bug will not occur I th I, yeah I I remember what the bug was um the bug was just like when I beat the challenge it would not reset anything and then galactic sacrifice it would not reset anything so yeah at least Actually, it went over my recording. That's how I remember it. I mean, I need to edit the recording sometime, so maybe that's the best time to edit. So, anyway, I'm up to three dimension shifts. Just a couple more resets until the next time dimension boost or time dimension shift, and that will allow me to beat the challenge. Okay, this is the last run. All I need is ten fourth time dimensions, and then I'll finally be done with this challenge. And hopefully, the bug will not, will not happen. So here it is. Boom. And, boom, it resets. So, the bug was fixed. Good. Because they had three weeks to fix it. So, now, yeah, I can just do this. It's, I'm not sure how hard this challenge is. It doesn't seem very hard. Um, I'm not really sure. It's just time ventures are weaker, which means I get less tick speed upgrades, which really doesn't mean all that much. And 
I think their remaining challenges are just two and six. And I'm not sure which one's harder. So, yeah. It looks like I have three dimension shifts now. And there is four dimension shifts. Now they're getting, the runs get faster with every reset. So, that, that feels nice to actually get a boost every reset than a nerf. And again, it's just going to be the same deal. Get the galaxy, and then um, get four dimension shifts, and then one time dimension shift. So, yeah, I, I'm i not sure if challenge two is going to be easy or hard. Maybe I, can, maybe I should just um, go to the automation tab and just do stuff like buys until 10 um, with some of these auto buyers. And I don't think I want automatic sacrifice or galactic sacrifice at this point. And here is the challenge completion. So, yeah, there's. I'm just going to try these, see if this one's possible. This one is notoriously hard, though, because I think not only normal dimensions are affected by this, I think it's also time dimensions. And you can just purchase one time dimension that has the same effect as with normal dimensions. And if you're purchasing the wrong thing, it really does... It really nerfs the game. So I don't really need all the challenge completions done at this point. I think it's a little more important that I try to get the rest of these galaxy upgrades. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to exit the challenge. And um, maybe I should get this upgrade. Dimension boost and time dimension boost are stronger based on your galaxy points. So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit slower um, outside of this because this upgrade... Like, this one's going to be weaker, but it shouldn't be too bad. And I should be able to reach the galaxy... I should be able to get galaxy points easily, and then I should be able to get... I should be able to push a lot farther with this, because that's... Dimension boost being two and a half times stronger will actually really help things. And also, this also applies to time dimension boosts. So, I think previously I was going for two galaxy like two galaxy runs so i'll get two galaxy and the galactic sacrifice i may even want to go for more uh okay maybe not more because it took a little bit to get two galaxies i'm no, i have no idea if three is possible at this point um I don't, I don't think three is possible i think i just want to get these um dimension boosts and then i of course want the time dimension boost that's probably what's Keeping progress um, slower. And then... I'm not sure. I, th I think I just get... I think I get the time dimension boost before. That does not reset everything. Yeah. So... Then I'm not sure if it's worth it to try to... I think it's here where I try to Galactic Sacrifice. If I remember correctly. So that, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do runs like this. And... I think this is the fastest way to get galaxy points. And I think when I reach about 500 galaxy points, I want to get the tick speed boosts, give 32 free tick speed purchases each. Because that's going to that's gonna definitely help. Like, maybe I want even more galaxy points than that. But just the tick speed boosts are almost useless at this point. Just because there's, there's just not much like... Like, they, they only start... Like playing a role in progression until like they they only start playing a role in progression after like two gal like at like the very end of a run and I don't think they directly boost galaxy points so it doesn't real doesn't do much and I mean yes I what I'm gonna do here is six dimension boost so one two three time dimension um shifts. And this is where it just it gets slower. And maybe I want to go for this 29 galaxy points per minute. Or I want to just get a little bit more stuff so I can get a tick speed boost. I think I can only get one safe tick speed boost before everything resets. Which I just... I don't want that everything... I want everything to be reset. So I'm going to dimension boost here. And then I'm going to want this time dimension shift. Um... And then I think I just want 48th dimensions. Maybe this 
gives me more galaxy points. Uh, no, it's still only 29 per minute. I could try to do a longer run to potentially get three galaxies. And um, I've been a lot busier lately, so that's probably what I'm going to do. So, yeah, let's see how far I'm going to get uh, by next episode. I should actually have enough. I, th I think I'm going to have enough to get three galaxies. Which will give me a, which will actually allow me to get a lot more tick speed boosts than before, and it'll just be interesting just to see how far I'll get. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.